So to me, it's not, and it's no disrespect to Josh Allen, but he's not on Patrick Mahomes' level yet. He's not. You have to have the resume. He's got the hardware, and we can measure our careers almost simultaneously. We have almost the same amount of experience in the league, 68 to 65. You need those three extra games to get to the Super Bowl and win an MVP? <sighs> you know, I was just going to let this sit and go by because those of us who are in the know tend to look a little bit further than 68 to 65. They have the same amount of experience in the NFL. I would need a flow chart although I don't have one, to measure how inaccurate this whole take was. It's, it's good to measure quarterbacks. All right, first of all, wins aren't a quarterback stat. All right, let me just put that on the table, number one. Number two is this. By saying that because Patrick Mahomes has 68 games and Josh Allen has 65 games, they have the same amount of experience, is probably the laziest amount of reporting I've ever seen in my life. Let's try to break down this. You know, since you like going over stats, let's go over some stats. Currently, Josh Allen, 43 and, and 22. Mahomes is 54 and 14. Josh Allen came into the league in 2018, and we had said multiple times, even on this show, multiple times, that he was not going to be compared to Baker, Darnold, Rosen, or Jackson. He was going to be compared more to Patrick Mahomes. And the reason why is the Buffalo Bills effectively gave the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. In 2017, the Buffalo Bills had the 10th pick. Kansas City Chiefs had the 27th pick. Yeah, same amount of experience there. Let's just talk about that for a second. The Bills had the 10th pick. The Chiefs had the 27th pick. Mahomes really came into a situation, didn't he? Let's fast forward. Wait a minute. 68 to 65. Mahomes was drafted a full season ahead of of Josh Allen. Why has he only played three extra games? Because they had an incumbent starter in Alex Smith. And Reed had been there for four years already, making the playoffs three out of four years. You know, Alex Smith, who coincidentally, when he started in the league, played for six offensive coordinators in eight years. What a shitty guy to have in the, in the film room with jo with uh, Patrick Mahomes, huh? For a whole year and letting him learn. Let me just give you similar experiences. Patrick Mahomes went to a team that was 12-4 and four and made the playoffs the previous season. Andy Reed, who was in his 18th year as a head coach in the NFL at that point, and like I said, had Alex Smith in the film room with him the entire time. Let's see what Allen had, shall we? The Bills had not had a 10-win season since 1999. Coincidentally, Allen was celebrating his third birthday at that time. You have a second-year head coach. Let me get my notes real quick. Who did Allen have in the film room with him? Let's just see this. Oh, Nathan Peterman and Derek Anderson. Do I even need to say the punchline here? And, and then if you want to measure stats, you want to say Josh Allen is not that dude yet. Let's just, do you, do you recall in that playoff game last year that with 13 seconds left, prior to that, Josh Allen left the field with the lead. So you want to build this as an Allen versus Mahomes thing, that's great. But it is Josh Allen versus a Steve Spagnuolo defense and it is Patrick Mahomes versus the Leslie Frazier defense. Josh Allen went 27 for 37, 329, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Also ran the ball 11 times for 68 yards. This was with Stephon Diggs having three catches for seven yards. If you take away the man's biggest threat and he's still able to produce, he is that dude. And saying that he's not that dude because he lost, it's like talking about how Andre Iguodala was the 2015 Finals MVP for holding LeBron James to 35 points, 13, uh, 13 rebounds, and 9 assists. Yeah, good job there. If you want to compare statistics, go compare statistics. Don't do it on a national stage like that. That's ridiculous. I'm done. I'm out of here.